let us talk about sinophysy in this video lecture. Uh, this class of therapy, there are uh, aspects of this. Discuss there is the general features of the of the group, the ultra structure of of a sinophysian cell, uh, reproduction of sinophysy, and its application or economic importance. Uh, let us see the general features of, of this group. Sinophysy, they are basically prokaryotic alga. Let me take a pen color. So, general features, this one we are discussing. First of all, they are prokaryotic in nature. That means they have uh, no organized nucleus. Nucleus, uh, there is no nuclear membrane and the DNA is naked. The chromosome is represented by a covalently closed circular DNA just like any other bacteria. And there are also, um, there is no cell or membrane bound cell organelle other than thylakoid. So there are no membrane bound cell organelles like um, mitochondria or the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, lysosome, vesicles. These membrane bound structures are absent. Only thylakoid is present. Thylakoid, the lamellated thylakoid, not the grana um, that bears the pigments in the chlorophyll A and also the Pycobilisomes on its surface. This structure is present, which is a membrane bound structure, no doubt. The ribosome is of uh, 70S type. The ribosome is present, it is of 70S type, that means the large subunit is uh, 50S and the small subunit comprises of 30S. Okay. As far as the cell wall is concerned, it is uh, a gram-negative cell wall, mostly gram-negative type of uh, cell envelope is present. Again, uh, if we talk about the reserve food, the reserve food is uh, cyanophysin starch. also called glycogen. The other uh, reserve foods, the nitrogen reserve food is uh, cyanophysin. And there are phosphate reserve also in the form of poly, polyphosphate granules. You can also call, call it bolutin granules. So these are the different um, forms of um, reserve foods. Uh, this group of uh, alga, they do not have any uh, flagellated motility. Flagella or cilia is completely absent. Flagella or cilia is absent from this group. And motility, whatever is seen, is gliding mot motility. Uh, as far as the reproduction is concerned, reproduction is vegetative and asexual only with different forms of sexual bodies, asexual bodies. Sexual reproduction is absent. And um, it is uh, just like bacterial system, there are three met methods of sexual reproduction that is transformation. These are basically methods of gene transfer, not sexual reproduction. Transformation, transduction, and conjugation. So basically, gene recombination is present, but uh, the gametic fusion, the real mode of sexual reproduction, is absent. So these are the general features of cyanophysin alga. Now, there are some questions arises. Why cyanophysin alga are sometimes called cyanobacteria? 
because of the presence of because they are prokaryotic nature why it is called cyanobacteria why because first number one it is prokaryotic in nature all bacteria are prokaryote they lack an uh, organized nucleus that is there is no nuclear membrane outside the dna there is no nucleoli etc number two is that they lack membrane bound cell organelles like bacteria only the thylakoids are present as we mentioned as i mentioned earlier ribosome the protein synthesis occurs with the help of ribosomes that are of a 70s type which is also similar to bacterial system the cell wall is um, made up of uh, peptidoglycan or murin so these are the characteristic why the this this group of alga are treated as cyanobacteria by the microbiologist but uh, again why they are treated as alga by phycologist cyanophyce why why they are treated as an alga there are only two characteristic because of which this group of um, alga are treated as uh, are kept within algae not in bacteria but this is disputed thing it may be it should be by microbiologist it it will be treated as a cyanobacteria no doubt uh, under the uh, super kingdom or domain prokarya but the algologist will treat it as an as an alga because of the presence of uh, chlorophyll a chlorophyll a not chlorobacteria chlorophyll this chlorophyll a and again the photosynthesis is oxygenic oxygenic photosynthesis that means it releases it evolves oxygen during photosynthesis and if oxygen evolves that means uh, it has a, a water splitting system with the photolysis of water occurs in presence of the photosystem 2 so this this kind of alga they bear photosystem 2 due to which water splits into uh, oxygen and protons and electrons so these protons and electrons are required in photosynthesis uh, they are transferred through photosynthetic electron transport system and the protons are expelled to generate uh, atp And, and to reduce NADP to NADPH, whereas the oxygen is released as a byproduct of photosynthesis. So this system is present in in this group of uh, organisms. So they are treated as cyanobacteria and alga rather than cyanobacteria. So for both the cases, there are evidences that it can be treated as an alga. It can be treated as a bacteria. Now let us see the second point that is. Uh, so regarding characteristic i forgot to mention one important thing which is the pigment surface very very important characteristic um this group of alga possesses um, chlorophyll a as a significant the primary pigment but some of the members uh, bear chlorophyll b also like um, <coughs> the prochlorone Uh, prochlorothrix etc there is uh, um, uh, other than this uh, the pigments um there are picobilly proteins present within the picobilly zones so there be are four types of pigments Th those are um, c phyco cyanine c phyco erythrin allo phyco cyanine
and phyco erythro cyanin so these are the pigment composition of um, of this group of alga and they exhibit one important phenomena um, that is called gaidoko phenomena and this is an ecological phenomena exhibited by this group of bacteria this is also characteristic of them presence of this gaidoko phenomena or it may be say um Mm, complementary chromatic adaptation what is this this group of bacteria are also called blue green alga because of this reason because they can change their color and they are they most of them look like a blue green in color because of the presence of the phycocyanin and, and the green pigment chlorophyll a um, chlorophyll a a combination of these two pigments give uh, a hue to this this group of bacteria that is a blue green that's why they are called blue green alga also no but th this is not gaidukov phenomena um, gaidukov phenomena has something to do with the pigment composition when this alga are distributed in in, in water body they have a, a particle zonation depending on the availability of light the light that enters inside it becomes the frequency of it reduce is reduced and the wavelengths become higher and different group of alga they occupy different position in the in the water body some of the cyanophyci occupy say here uh, another will occup will remain here another group of will remain here the other will remain here another will on the water surface in this way they distribute themselves uh, in vertically in the water body so as to get maximum amount of light and this they do with the help of by changing their um, uh, pigment composition by uh, changing their chromatic that means the pigment composition and they adapt to this particular um, niche or habitat if you say um, the particular wavelength of light that is coming here is different from that which is coming here so the pigment composition has to be complementary according to the wavelength of light that is received uh, in this way this this group of bacteria this group of um, alga they distribute themselves at different uh, depth of water um, to, to have maximum level of photosynthesis and their growth so there is no disturbance or exclusion of one by the other this phenomena was first time uh, looked by Gaidukov and that's why the Russian scientist Gaidukov that's why it is called Gaidukov phenomena and also called complementary chromatic adaptation so they exhibit this feature I think in this video lecture this is good enough in next video lecture we will talk about the ultrastructure of the cyanophysian cell. Thank you very much.